You take an M O B I L E. That's the place that means the world to me. So if you're down a vacation, you should choose a Bill Alabama. You lose your blues. The sights down there, where you will see blue the brand new Dolphin Island Beach Mobile. This is weird. I'm usually talking to a microphone like this. Oh, I'll do it. All right. What do you do, Nene? What do I do? Well, for um, most of my time, I do something called yoga, which seems to be... Is that a soft J? It's a soft J. Choga. Okay, good. Like, like choga, but yoga. What is choga? <laughs> what is choga? Don't, don't make up words. <laughs> Something yeah, we do on the show is not something language. we do on the show is not be inventive. Don't be inventive. Don't make a word. There is a language that um, <laughs> they started many, many, many years ago. Sanskrit, which um, is the yogic language, and yoga. There's a yoga language. Yoga, which you might um, is find, like Klingon? find to be <laughs> poses and things that you do for. Um, I'm learning so much right now. Physical, physical work. Um, yoga goes much further and becomes how you live and how you uh, die. How you take breaks <laughs> from living, how you live, and how you take breaks, and how you live, and how you take breaks, and, and how you find balance. And uh, you basically get to know yourself, figure out your body, connect your mind with your body, so you figure out much more about yourself, and then you have you have some cred. Yes, some credit. You, you at least know yourself so you can talk whatever you want to talk to other people. At least, at least you know. So yoga gives you street cred. And it gives you, uh, yes, street cred. Right you on. actually have um, practiced learning the self, learning, learning you, learning what's good for you, what's bad for you, how to, um, you know, make good, balanced balance choices. So you got to figure out yourself to figure that those things out. And yoga is a lifestyle that helps you get there. So you're a yoga life coach. <laughs> Actually, you're a giver of street cred. <laughs> yes, they're they come in little um, little like karaoke. You remember karaoke, the little the frog? It uh, no. Santa surprises. Karaoke, karaoke, Yeah. Sorry. They come in those, the street cred uh, trophies. <laughs> but <laughs> just since well, well we got played. into that. Well I do played. a lot of other things, though, too. And yoga will actually help you be at peace with yourself to learn what else you want to do. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, the, cam the cameraman's very enthusiastic about yoga. I did it with her. Oh, yeah, the other day. Yeah? Woo! He wasn't great. feeling very good. And then, then he felt OK. You gave him street cred. Now it's over with. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> So you do a lot of a lot of other things. You remember what you did last time uh, you were on the show? You remember what we did? I do. We sang. We sang. What did we sing? Oh, we're not going to sing it again. But what were we sing? It was "Kiss from a Rose." Kiss from a Rose, Seal. Because we were trying to get so, we were trying to get one of the many musicians that was on the show to close the show, and me, you, and Alan ended up having to go out there and sing "Kiss from a Rose" by ourselves, a cappella. Da da da. da we, we only knew the first verse. It was a problem. <laughs> We all mixed it up. And no, we sounded great, but like, like once we got past the first verse, it was just. There is so much a man can tell you. So much he can say. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> Seal and yoga. Recalibration. Re just yoga. Just to come back to the uh, ground. Most okay. So when do you? Uh, when and where do you teach these yoga street grade classes? Well, if you have access to the internet, you can just look up this URL, which maybe they can add on. Um, www. My full name: N A D I N E D A L A T I. Tumblr. Com. That will show you the schedule that will bring you to every studio in town because I accidentally have jobs at all of them because they're accidentally so generous. The, the, the people behind this yoga thing are really cool and, um, you know, accepting. And, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't feel like you got to be a certain way. 
<laughs> and uh, anyways, different studios include coming down from Westmobile all the way east. Okay. Will be um, Synergy um, on Old Shell. It's a good name. Quiet Mind on Old Shell. That's a better name. Kula Yoga, which could be found at Space 301 or uh, on Mont Lamar, and then go over the Bay Yoga Birds. Really? <laughs> it's it's different, different private classes all over. So that there's the answer to that that foolish question that's so easy to find on Google. Nadine.tumblr.com. <laughs> that's where you find it all. Yoga everywhere. Just look. Y O G A mobile. <laughs> Are you gonna demonstrate some yoga? Oh, it's no. pointless. It's not just the the physical, the poses. It's, it's why, don't you, why don't you why don't you why don't you do one pose and take us through it a little bit? Like show us what you have to do. To... We could do this one, this one for everyone. The, the people, the people back there that are in charge are are asking her to do uh, some yoga poses on the uh, on the wires here. Uh, maybe some applause would help. I don't know. <laughs> Yoga. That is pathetic. Can I get some real applause for one second here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think you're bound to do it now. You have to. That was a pterodactyl in the house. Many weird things happen here. Okay, now let's have absolute okay, silence. Now, everyone quiet. It's really great for your wrists. And it also... Uh, anything that you do with your hands is called a mudra, and that is a pose with your mudra. hands. And this one, Anjali Mudra, um, is a pose of reverence, Everybody pose of gratitude. Do it. <laughs> if you stamp this enough in your heart, if you do this enough, if you do this maybe once a day or once a week, at least it'll stamp that feeling in your heart of gratitude, reverence for something else, something other than. Um, yeah, something that exists that you're grateful for. And gratitude, um, Anjali Mudra, <laughs> yoga. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Now, Nadine, if you could give a full body massage, which she does, besides yoga, Ooh. not not the happy end. Uh, if if you could give a, a full body massage to anyone in the world, who would it be and why? Hmm. Well, the massage that I do is a little bit different than. Massages. That you tell might tell think. me about it. And this massage is a Thai yoga massage where um, you your only real rule really is to lay dead weight, <laughs> and um, okay. you might be tired or pooped. Pooped. That was the theme tonight of class. Pooped. Getting unpooped. And um, <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that one. Please <laughs> <laughs> <Please don't. laughs> um, you lay dead weight, I stretch you, you get all these beautiful um, benefits of yoga and the energy of yoga without having to do it because you're dead weight and someone else is stretching you and breathing for you. Mm -hmm. Thai yoga massage is different than um, something with oils and lotion and a lot of rubbing. This is more, more of a weight pressure um, that will... You know, you just open every every millimeter of the body, and energy gets let in and out. Anyways, if I would do a massage to anyone in the world, this, this that, you, that you feel like needs a massage, that, that, that oh, needs to relax. And, that, I, I wasn't being like now, you took it in a sensual place. I didn't take it. I didn't that take way. it in a sensual place. I just took it, took it in the cliche. Who would you give a massage to? No, I'm talking. I know I'm talking like. Who do you think? Who do you think really needs to just chill out? I wasn't even gonna think. I thought when you first asked me this question that you said anyone in the. the I mean, you can say Brad Pitt if that makes you feel better. But I'm, I'm, no, talking, I'm, I'm really trying to ask you a serious question. Okay, the person I thought of isn't necessarily alive, and so. Okay. That's that fine. That could work. That could work. You can bring it back to life. Okay. Check well, out the hands of life. I'm a geek and. Ever since I uh, started saying what I felt and things, um, I learned that I am 
have the hugest crush on Jesus Christ. If he should um, come, <laughs> Jesus if he, Christ if he did what he supposedly did, and um, kind of walked around the way he walked around, and treated people the way he treated people, and even grew his hair out the way he grew his hair out. He had to watch Street Crew. <laughs> that is who I would be asking to first massage, which the time massage is on your feet, feet, feet for a long time. It's on, it's on the feet. We have a lot of reflexes in our feet and our fingers, and mm -hmm. um, I want to do that. I want to braid his hair, and he can let go away the whole time. He can have whatever he wants. Okay. And right now, I wish I was Jesus. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Can you describe space yoga for me for one second? Um, that was a movie. You did that in a movie. That was a movie in it's not real life. the film scramble that happens every month that you should come out and check out because um, everyone is is invited to to participate. Um, get in touch with Mom Mobilian and Trey Lane if you're um, interested. You don't want to get in touch with Trey Lane. You don't want that. You want to part of that evil? Because they're dating and he'd be jealous. I will choke a bitch. <laughs> okay, so space yoga, the coolest thing about the space is that there's different amounts of gravity wherever you go. Different amounts of gravity and um, much more than on Earth, much less than on Earth. <laughs> And so we go, we go out to these different planets and just you know small groups of us, and um, we indulge in with with, with moderation, with moderation, um, Brahmacharya, um, with moderation we indulge in the gravity of, of different planets. And when you have this gravity, it brings you down to earth. It brings you back down. It brings you back to a grounded place. And. Uh, Check out restorative yoga. As Melanie Buffett says, it is gravity and pillows. Okay? Just dead weight. Enjoy. All right, people. <laughs> Call well, us we're, sitting, we're sitting here with the future of, of yoga, which when, 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 once there's like an affordable shuttle, there will be you to do yoga and massages on those shuttles. We're sitting here with the future of yoga and, and massaging. <laughs> And uh, I just want to thank you for coming on. In the meantime, you're an awesome uh, yoga street cred giver. What do you what, what do you call yourself? Like what is what is a yoga instructor? Karobi. Uh, In the mic. Connoisseur. Karobi connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my title. I've been thinking about that one. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on, Nadine. Thanks so much for having me. You're watching my brilliant TV. When we come Woo! back. We have the Cimarron Club. Yeah. <laughs> and it will. <laughs> <laughs>